Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. If you're new on this channel, you're welcome. And to my returning subscribers, thanks for always coming back. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful kimono jacket. It's very simple and straightforward. So remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. So guys, enjoy this video. So I'll be using this African print for the jacket. And first, make sure it's on fold. Just like so. Then I'll measure the length, the required length. So I want it below my my knee, so it's about 40, 44 or 42 inches. Then I'll go ahead and measure the neckline, which is 3 by 3 inches. And also I measured my shoulder length. Okay. So after the neckline and the shoulder length divided by 2, I went ahead and measured my bust point. And I'll be using, my bust point is 10 inches. So I just made it about 10 and a half just for the journey allowance at the top. So I make it 10.5 inches for my boss point instead of the 10. Okay. Then from there, I went to determine my sleeve length. So from the shoulder um, measurement, I just added some inches, about 14 inches, because I want it to be somewhere below my elbow. Okay. So I had to add the desired sleeve length to my um, shoulder measurement. You understand? Okay. So now I went ahead and extend the line. So now in creating my sleeve, so from my boss point, you can go ahead by one inch or 1.5 inch. So I just went ahead by about one and a half inches from my boss point. Okay. So it's from there, I'll draw the line and, and bring it down to my bust, or my bust measurement. Please just watch the video carefully so that you understand this better. Okay. So now I'm putting in the quarter of my bust circumference, which is nine inches. Okay, that's my actual bust circumference, 9 inches. Then I added about 3 inches extra allowance because I want the, the, the kimono jacket to be free. It's not going to be body off. So I added 3 inches extra allowance. So with that 3 inches, you can see add your 1 inch sewing allowance or half inch sewing allowance. Okay, depends on how free you want it to be. So now I now connect the sleeve slightly curved from the sleeve length down to the measurement i i already have on ground for my bust circumference so yes the bust measurement okay so if you don't want it to be so big you can just add two inches extra allowance to your actual bust um, circumference okay that's the cut of my bust circumference plus two inches or three inches now for my sleeve round so all together it's going to be about 17 inches for the sleeve round so if that is okay by you you can go with that so the same measurement i have at my bust point which is the cut of my bust circumference divided by um, plus three inches so i went ahead and transferred the same measurement down to the elmi of this dress okay so that's just what i'm doing now to make sure it's straight the same thing on the boss points down to my waist down to my hip line down to the um, jacket length which is my aiming line so and i connect it so sorry this chalk is not visible enough so please bear with me so this is it for the front pattern so i went ahead and draw a, a v-neck for the neckline you know it's going to be open the center front is going to be open okay so i just create this v-neck there then we'll continue from there so now I use the same front pattern to cut out the same back pattern. No zipper at the back, nothing. It's the same allowance, the same sleeve, the same everything. So now it's after cutting out, we'll now go, go ahead and design them differently. So for the V-neck we're creating, so just up from the three inches from the neck depth, the neck width, just create that V-neck to wherever I stop at the center front. Okay, so there's no any measurement for the neck depth of that v-neck. Okay, so after creating that, then I went ahead and open up my center front. Okay, I open up the center front, then secure it with pin. Okay, because we're still going to work on it. So now back to the the back piece. You know the neck width is going to be the same three inches, and the neck depth one point five inches for the back. It's going to be high. So it's not, then moreover it's a jacket, so the neckline for the back should be up. So I cut it out 1.5 inch by 3 inches. So that is all for the back. Okay. For the back piece, that is, I just create the neckline. I are done. So back to, I'm bringing the two together now, the back and the front piece. Place it together. Okay. So I'm securing them with pin, the neckline. 
it's just what the video is very simple it's not difficult so i joined the sleeve uh, at the shoulder right there by half inch as you can see the shoulder is joined then the sleeve now you fold it inward just i'm doing i prefer it when the the aiming for the sleeve is big just give it some kind of different definition so just if you like you can make yours half inch you can fold it by half inch but i'm using half inch and one inch so one inch depends on how you want then you join it down straight okay so this is the front center front that will open up so i'll make sure it's well secured bring both uh, edges together because we need to remove some some inches you can make it one or two inches so that the the center front can fall differently it won't be climbing each other it won't be overlapping you understand so i remove about one inch from the center front and just it's up to the so now we're going to measure around the the center front from one m into the other side you measure it around in order to create the the color so now we we'll now cut out a straight piece a straight piece so i just joined some pieces i have left it's about four inches or four and a quarter inch it depends on how wide you want it to be another thing for beauty you can make it another plain color it's it's beautify it more when you add the plain color so now how to sew this belt or the collar to the to the center front so i'm going to place the front part the front part of the belt onto the inside of my fabric remember the front part onto the inside of the fabric so you start sewing from the inside of the main dress then when we are done you fold it over you fold it on half inch or quarter inch on the fabric and remember we are only using an half inch of this fabric you see we're only using half inch from the main fabric so the first place you sew even while you are folding it over you fold the piece on half inch and place it on half inch place it on half inch of the fabric you understand so that the color can come out on its own just like this so i've joined these together and this is what i have okay because the color really needs to come out it's not going to be absorbed totally into the dress no it needs to come out because it's going to stand on the neck you understand so yes this is how it will look like so if imagine this is another color it's to come out differently okay but for the sake of this tutorial i just decided to make it this way okay so now we'll go ahead and fold the m in okay i think it's looking like a kimono jacket already so this um cuff part where we connect the sleeve to the main bodies at the arm oh rather so we need to go ahead and notch it so that that side can be free it needs to be free so you notch it carefully because i only join it on half inch so you notch the cuff part so that that side can be free it's simple guys so please try out your own and share it in the comment section share the video with me let's see the outcome i know it's going to be beautiful please you can add some styles to yours to maybe pocket or another color of um of the of the color okay guys so this is what we have this is the outcome so it's looking pink on me so in case you want to use belt i have to use my tape rule so you can use belt on this this is how it's going to look so it's going to be beautiful it's one of those styles that you should have in your wardrobe so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please if you do remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please subscribe remember to put on your notification bell okay so i'll see you guys in my next video thank you bye